Hey guys, my name is Tana and welcome to my channel. Today we are looking at the Mercedes S Class, and this is no ordinary S Class. This is the S Class, which I think that um, kind of got Mercedes out of a rut, and I'll tell you why shortly. Let's get cracking. Here it is, the Mercedes S-Class or Sonder Class. Yes, the S-Class actually is a full name in German. <clears throat> in German, it's called Sonder Class or what that means in English is the special class. This is the creme de la creme of Mercedes, their flagship model. Now, obviously, they have the Maybach, but this is pretty much the top of the line for the Mercedes branding. And this is a painful one, a very painful one for Mercedes. Let me tell you why. So before this, um, well, let's begin with S-Class itself. They have the W116, the first ever S-Class, which I feel it's just a beautiful piece of, it's art, it's art, man, you know. Then you obviously had the W126, which was great. Then you had the 140, which I think it's retro, ghetto kind of stuff. I could buy it. Then came the W220. Oh my, W220. So the one that came before this was a complete disaster because the Lexus obliterated, <laughs> obliterated that S-Class. It was the S-Class, we had so much issues. It wasn't um, very good in handling. It wasn't the S-Class to get lots of hate for the S-Class. And it was in between a point they were from a square look, they were going to a sharper look, but it wasn't sharp enough. So it was an in-between car and yet issues with the car in terms of um, reliability, the engine, um, what it stood for, the plastics, lots of problems on that car. Then came this, the W221. And I think um, this is pretty much how S-Class sh should look like. And I know that in recent years, they've become sharp and much sharper, much more sportier. But I love this, this beefiness, this heft to it. Uh, this, I think, is what the S-Class should stand for. Uh, this is S500L, but yes, it's a long wheelbase, but this is no S500. It's actually a S350. Up budging was a popular thing. Yes, it happens. People do it. And uh, honestly, looking out, no one... Uh, very, no, I don't know how you could tell apart what is a S500 and S350. But anyway, this is the S350, a 3.6, 3.5 V6, uh, which gives you only 306 horsepower. So not very powerful. But you know what? It comes, it makes up for it in its smoothness. The front of this, this is actually the facelift. This, I believe, is a 2010 model. Uh, this model came out in 2005. And then this is the facelift, which has got much more sexier uh, lights there. Look at that. It's beautiful. Even today, um, it's beautiful. The grille there, uh, a bit sharper, I believe, compared to the uh, pre-facelift model. Um, and of course, you have got that um, uh, daylight running lights uh, down there. So it's a little better looking, uh, sharper, uh, definitely um, a little more, um, how do I say, refinement is there. And I could really imagine this with the twin tone because the Maybach, I think, came with this particular version with the uh, twin tone whereby the top and the bottom came with two different uh, colors. I know Hoovy Garage had, has one, uh, the whole uh, series on them. But yeah, it just looks very uh, nice. And to start the video, I think the best place to start is the inside on the back. Because you know what? S-Class <laughs> back. It's for the executive out there to be driven in. And look at that. Look at the interior. My, oh my, how nice it is. I'm, I'm, I'm astonished at the build quality because the previous one, the 220, was uh, really rubbish. And the price shows. And this one is just so nice. So you've got your ashtray. Uh, ashtray, can you believe they had ashtrays back in uh, 2010? Um, you've got your control for the uh, windows, both side left and right. You got your blind control to uh, lower the blinds and the shade. Uh, so yeah, so you have, and these are those uh, blinds you have there. Give me a minute uh, while we go to the inside. Yes, coming back. Sorry. Um, yeah, these are controls for the both left and right and your blind as well as the rear blind so let's get inside and see what we have from a passenger 
uh, viewpoint so if I were to close the door and again let me just close for you you hear that that is the vacuum door and uh, let me just go and start the car and uh, give you an experience of how it is to be the passenger in this uh, what almost a million uh, a million ringgit car was it I'm not sure how much it was I'll put a link down there on how much it was brand new but this was no cheap car yes it was no cheap car back then uh, but today it is only like a uh, 55,000 ringgit uh, which to me is a bargain hard to find one sorted I believe because um, as they age people tend to abuse them but this was a, this was a company owned car and uh, I had I get to experience what uh, luxury was back then uh, because this is all well sorted so what do I see from my point of view well look at this I want to show you this it's my cabin so first and foremost I've got a dual uh, one sunroof there this I believe is a moonroof is that it let me just try and see oh so that button opens up the rear blinds okay that piece there and this piece there yeah the other one opens up the um, it's not it's not a sunroof it's a moonroof which means it doesn't open uh, the, the glass itself but yeah you get the view here uh, all open from here and uh, similarly if you go on that side yeah so this button here opens up the um, blinds for both the passenger as well as my set so we'll open the curtain there yeah and this guy is all working units uh, for all the modules if you see on that side you will see that both the uh, quarter and the main window has its own blinds so how cool is that let me just close this up that's right that's the back and let's close that piece too it's a hot sunny day Okay, back inside. So what else do I see? Let me just uh, turn the camera this way. You have this vanity mirror, I believe. Yes, vanity mirror. So all ladies out there, uh, if you have this car, you have the vanity mirror for you to do your makeup, powder, and all that. Yeah, I'm sweating here. <laughs> okay, um, you got your own uh, reading light there. Press a button, and I believe uh, this is the button there. It opens up that light for you. Nice. Okay. And of course you've got wonderful seats the sitting on this car is just uh, magnificent um really really uh, luxurious let me see oh yeah controls you get to control uh, the seat position over here so this is me seated and i can be more upright this is my most upright position and if i push this back whoo yeah and even the, um, I believe the um, rear, the uh, bottom, yeah, the bottom um, seats here can also be adjusted. So you can also, the tilt can be adjusted, up or down. That's leather. <laughs> and the headrest, you could, I can tilt back or forward. How cool is that? Okay. Uh, you've got a screen here and I believe the screen works with uh, the thing in, in front there uh, I'm not sure what it actually shows but you do have um, a screen there and uh, armrest uh, that's the armrest there it folds up and I guess if you wanted to somebody could sit here but uh, there wasn't the design of the car if you open up you've got ooh the Mercedes-Benz control how cool is that let me just try this out hmm no battery yeah there's no battery in this or battery is flat i believe yeah interesting so mercedes-benz control for you to control the infotainment system <gasps> look at that you could swap rear left or rear right or front command ah so cool man okay control goes back inside there what do we have here explore with me uh this is the uh like a parcel to put stuff behind and i think i'll some fuse box over here that's all this okay 
this is a fuse box but you got a secret storage bin there and yeah the top here it's all like velvet like a not velvet suede isn't it yeah it's called suede not alcantara sweet the rear of the uh, leather itself very nice they're all leather this is also leather wow imagine this uh, in 2023 you buy a car and you get all this leather the um, leather on the top leather on the bottom the seats the positioning shit all this for just 55,000 ringgit it's mad man mad uh, AC controls for the back you've got this ventilation as well as direction I don't see a control for the uh, temperature in this door zone or oh, you've got 12 volt sockets here and bins to put stuff in oh I see headphone jacks and input video uh, and left and right so you guys can put a PS4 or PS3 in here and you can uh, play them cool very cool Of course, you got your B pillar uh, AC vents. Very nice. You know what? As the perfect family car, old S class like this, if you can call it old, 2010, I believe. Um, it's not bad, isn't it? Because 3.5, 300 horsepower. Uh, Rotex is high, of course, 4K. But I, I, I heard if you're running a Srava plate, it's much cheaper. Or Srava Rotex, it's much cheaper. Um, but yeah, it's just so comfortable, man. It's so quiet in here. Amazing, amazing. Of course, it's on Asus. Um, super comfortable to drive in. Mm, what else? Okay, let's check out the front. Let me show you what's there. Oh, you know what? Obviously, you know. Yeah, vacuum doors. Car so quiet. If you get in front, um, these came with the optional uh, start-stop push button. This is like a socket that you put in here, you can start. But it also comes with a key. The key is in my pocket somewhere, if I can get it out. Let me show you the cluster there, while I get this out. Yes, that's the key. You can either put it in and start, or you can use that device there. This is a push start, and the key can be in your pocket. Okay, You've got this analog uh, clock there, very classy, nice. I like it. Uh, the screen there, oh, I was shocked. I didn't know about this. Check this out, guys. This button here, if you can press. Can you see it? I'm hoping you can see it, okay. If I press the button there. Again. You saw that? The screen, the screen tilts to the direction. So, BNL talks about no dry focus. We can change it to be center or tilt towards you. How cool is that? Um, suspensions you got sport um, and uh, this gives you a sport here right and of course your parking uh, off over there um, clusters they're all digital uh, not the digital in the center uh, which tells you things like your consumption your distance you can scroll up and uh, look at things there this car has got 135,000 kilometers on it uh, pretty cool interior is perfect because these cars are driven by drivers um, and they are looked after very well. Oh, you could have, you got your dial pad to, to dial numbers. Uh, <laughs> I don't know who will dial numbers this, this, this way uh, in today's age, but yeah, you have that. And you got a deep pocket to put stuff in. Cloudboard socket, lime for luck, and the war of bad spirits. You got your glove box, deep. And yeah, and just very good quality finish leather with Harman Kardon speakers. You can see the Harman Kardon. What can I say? It's a S-Class, Sonder class. Okay guys, a uh, short video on uh, going through the car over here. Let's go and have a look um, at how it drives. Um, it's been an interesting couple of days having this car in my house. Um, and I, you'll know why shortly. Okay, cheers. See you soon.